it's a little hard because it kind of seems a little insensitive to be talking about like beauty products at a time like this. But I also know that we all need a distraction um, and want a distraction. So I'm going to keep on with my content. If you um, are not okay with that, I totally understand. You don't have to watch. But I like the distraction. I know I'm watching other creators. So we're just going to play with makeup. So here's the thing. I know that I'm with my family and only my family at this time. I could easily go makeup free like this and nobody would bat an eye. But I don't wear makeup for other people. I wear it for me because I like it, because it's fun. And so I've continued to wear makeup. I am testing out a new foundation and concealer. So that's one of the reasons that I have continued to wear it so that I can hopefully get a review up next week. But other reason is just because it makes me feel good. So we're just going to do that. We're going to play with makeup. No rhyme or reason. I'm just going to play with it. I do have a new kind of foundation slash concealer I'm going to be using. An eyeshadow palette I haven't used before. I don't know that anything else is new, but we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So I have color corrected with a color science three in one. So let's go ahead and get into this base product that I'm going to be using. A uh, Durham store had a recent, I think 15 or 20% off. Sorry if you can hear my kids. They're downstairs, downstairs painting rocks. I mean, we have had to get creative y'all. Anyways, Durham store had like a 15 to 20% off and I saw this and I wanted to try it. This is the Illuminaire is the brand concealing mineral foundation. So it comes in a fairly small tube, 0.5 ounces. It does have an SPF of 20, which is comprised of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And it is a semi matte finish oil free. Now I also got the moisturizing mineral foundation dewy finish. I haven't tried this one yet. Same SPF 20, but I have used this one a couple times and I wanted to use it because it's perfect for days where I just can't be bothered, where I'm in a hurry because I use it as both my concealer and my foundation. So I'm in the color Fair, which is weird because I believe this is described as a medium shade and it's definitely not fair, but I'm going to show you. This is about how much I squeeze out and y'all I have, I have the quarantine manicure going on. So forgive me. I had to clip them because they were getting so long and now they just look hideous. So I start off with that amount. And what I do is I kind of start up here, kind of like I'm going to use it as my concealer. And then I take my sponge and I use it as my concealer, but I also bring it down and end up using it as everything, a foundation, a concealer, everything. Now, obviously because I'm using it for everything, you know, I'm not using a brighter color for my under eyes. I know it's a, I'm a broken record that I'm really not someone who likes to do that anyway. So this works perfect. If you are somebody who likes to have your under eyes be a shade or two brighter than your actual face, then this is not going to really work for you. I mean, obviously you could get two shades of this, but why not just use a concealer over it? But if you are somebody who likes an all in one product, this is great. It has worn really well on me. Of course, I'm not like, I mean, I'm still working out at home, but I'm not overexerting myself. So it may not be the best time to test it. However, I am doing cardio outside as much as I can try to get some fresh air. So that tiny little dot that I had put on there just covered my entire face. I do think that it's more of like a semi matte. I mean, the SPF that I wore today is a little bit dewier than my normal SPF because I'm testing some new ones out for my SPF video. So I was, you know, a little dewy to start with, but it didn't make me any more dewy for sure. So even though this is half an ounce, I still feel like it's going to last a really long time because you truly need such a small amount. And obviously if you're someone who travels a lot, whenever that becomes a thing again, uh, it's great for that because it's so small. And I love it because just like that, I've done both foundation and concealer. So let's go ahead and go into the eyes. I'm going to use this new small little cute compact from Pure and it is the Trolls like little addition that they have. I think they came out with five different eyeshadow palettes within this Trolls launch. And this is the Trolls World Tour. And this is the classical palette. You can see right here. 
And obviously this is like the most neutral of all of them. I think they have like a purple and a blue. Uh, the mauve looks really pretty and they, they have a pink one that I may end up getting too. But this one is the one that I wanted to try first because I knew I would like the colors and I wanted to try the formula. The formula is really good. I have not tried these two shades right here yet other than swatching them, but I will swatch them for you. This one right here is pretty crumbly because it is more of like a glitter shade. And then the one on top is just a really pretty bronze. But because I'm not using those today, I thought I'd go ahead and swatch them. So that's those two colors right there. Really pretty. I do think if you are gonna use this glitter shade, it would be best to use your finger and really make sure there's no like crumbly bits or else you will get fallout. Though, I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy today. I'm just gonna take this like warm brown brick shade, put it through my crease like normal. To be honest, I have also been using like the Hourglass um, edit palettes a lot and then just using the bronzer and the highlight on my eyes because it's quick. I mean, not that I don't have all the time in the world now, but it's all in one and I'm, you know, I do like to play with makeup, but I don't always need glitter on my eyes when I know I'm not leaving the house. Although that might be the best time to put glitter on my eyes. And then I'm going to take this really pretty champagne gold color in the middle. It did have like one of those trolls hand signals on it, but I've already taken half of that off. I'm gonna take it first on a BK Beauty. I mean, y'all, this color is so pigmented. 203 brush, you can see how pretty that is. Oh, it's my favorite color in the palette. And I don't think, I think these are like $18. They're not that expensive. I'll link it down below. I know, I know it's a tough time right now. I know people aren't wanting to spend money, but then it's like, I want to support businesses, especially small businesses, but it's like a, it's a double-edged sword, but I will link everything even so, just in case. So I'm going to take this really dark brown color and my Delium Tools 760 brush, which is a tiny little angle brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a line right on my lash line just because it's there really. If I'm going to do a liner at all, most likely it's gonna be a shadow. I just like the look of it better on me than like a harsh pencil or gel or liquid liner. Now I'm going to set like normal. So I am gonna use my Pat McGrath powder with my Blendiful to set my under eyes. I just, I don't think, no, I know I have not used another powder since I have gotten this one. I don't, I don't know why, but it just works so well under my eyes and I'm not going to question it because it works so well under my eyes. And then I don't really know what powder I'm going to use to set my face. I might regret this, but I've been really into pressed powders lately. I've been using the Kogan dough a lot, but I know I used that in one of my last videos. So I'm going to use this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Powder. I have only used this, I think a couple other times. This is a neutral medium and it can pull a little warm. So hopefully it's not gonna make me look like an Oompa Loompa. Oh my goodness, I have a liquid blush that I wanted to use. <sighs> I do this all the time. I really don't, I mean, if this is like a regular powder, I might try to use it over it, but being a foundation powder, I think it's gonna be too thick. Gross. I'll tell you about it though. I got these little tiny samples of the Daniel Sandler makeup liquid blushes because somebody on my Instagram said that I absolutely had to try them. I have had this line in my radar, on my radar for ages, but let me, this is the color Cherub. Let me just swatch it for you. So the samples are the way to go because I think they were like $5, no, maybe like $3. They do come from the UK, so I don't know what shipping's like right now, but they're so pretty and they just blend out to this gorgeous like wash of color. Now, obviously that was one drop. You can make it more if you want. And I did wear it one day, a few days ago, and it gives this really nice like ethereal glow to the face while also adding color. And I'm really sad I forgot to use it. Okay, we'll have to pick another blush. Bronzer, I'm gonna use my trusted Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 03 and the BK Beauty 105 brush. And when I use this brush, a lot of times I like to do it in a stamping motion where I would normally bronze. Oh my goodness, my kids are downstairs fighting. 
I mean, obviously Chad's down there with him. This is going to be a test to all of our sanities because there's only so much that can be done in a day. And I'm, I'm, I've already gone like half broke buying crafts on Amazon. I mean, not really, but you know, I've spent a lot of money on crafts and it's like they get done with it in one day. And I'm like, okay, well, I've got at least how many more days? Lots and lots of more days. Cause I honestly don't anticipate them going back to school this year. Um, right now they say they're going back April 6th, but I have a feeling we'll get a phone call saying otherwise. So I'm just stamping that on talking and probably putting too much, but that's one of the great things about this bronzer is that you really can't overdo it. For highlight, I am going to be using the Bare Minerals highlight in the color free. This is a really pretty gold color. I thought it just matched the eye look really well. I love these highlights. I don't hear them talked about enough, but they are extremely pretty. And I feel like that powder is making me look a little shiny right here. So whenever that happens, I take my Wayne Goss number two brush and my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I just kind of touch it up right there. It instantly makes me less shiny. What are we going to do for blush now that I messed that up? Long time since I used this one on camera. This is the Balm Hot Mama blush. I really like it. It's very similar to NARS Orgasm. It, may, it might be a little more peach than Orgasm, but it's very close. I actually like it more. I've never been one that was extremely drawn to the NARS version for some reason. I do like the liquid, but the powder was never like my favorite. We're going to buff with Radiant Light. So y'all let me know, everybody with kids, what y'all are doing to stay sane and not busy, but here's the thing, like I am not against TV. I grew up in a household where TV was like a big thing, but I think it was so big when I grew up that I don't want my kids to be TV-aholics per se. So I'm trying to limit their screen time every day. It's hard, but I'm trying to, especially since I don't know how long we're gonna be in quarantine. I'm just trying to think of all this stuff and they really, they're just at the point where they're already sick of each other. <laughs> and, but this does give us time, Chad and I, to get the house ready to put on the market, which is kind of scary right now, but we got to do a little bit of painting. I've already packed up all my kitchen, at least all of it to where it's like ready to show. So we're getting a lot of stuff done. That's a blessing, honestly, because we would not have had time to do that otherwise. We would have been completely stressed out and now we have the time. And so I'm trying to find the positives in all of this and that one is truly a blessing. I'm gonna go into the Wayne Goss number 20, into that color we used in the crease. Smoke out my lower lash line. I'm not gonna worry about inner corner or brow bone. Before I do my lashes off camera, Tarte sent me this Maracuja Miracle Mist setting spray. It's kind of blown out. That's what it looks like. On all of their marketing, they say this is non-aerosol. It comes out like an aerosol, but they say it's non-aerosol. And I, I've really been liking it. So I'll shake it up. It doesn't have any like fragrance or anything. At least not that I can smell and there's not any added, but I just really like it. So I'm gonna do my lashes real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so for lips, super easy. I've been trying to contain my lipstick usage, lip gloss usage to just a couple of lipsticks. In the rare, rare instance that I get sick, I will only have to throw like one or two away versus a ton. So y'all know, Bare Shimmer from Beauty Counter for the win. This never lets me down. It's always, always, always a favorite. So while this is how my hair has looked every single day, because I truly can't be bothered to do anything but pull it back, I do like to play with makeup. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm gonna go downstairs and paint rocks with my kids. <laughs> I hope y'all all have a very sane and healthy, healthy day. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let me know what you would like to see next. Again, I have, I still have a client video that I'm going to post. Um, and then I have a foundation review, favorites, empties. I have a lot of stuff that I need to film, but I always like suggestions from y'all as well. So I hope y'all all go out and have a safe, healthy, and blessed day.